Today I'm going to go over the Caldwell Matrix um, shooting rest. I've never owned a shooting rest before. I've always just used my bipod or shot off the hood of my truck or off a box. Um, just something to get steady off shooting bag. Um, I decided to actually buy a shooting rest. Um, it greatly improved my accuracy um, for bench shooting for sighting in my gun. Anyway, this is a pretty good overall um, rest for the price. I mean, it's not the lead sled, but it's, it's pretty good. I, haven't, I don't have any problems with it. Um, the first thing you've got is you can adjust its elevation. So if you're shooting uphill a little bit or if you're shooting downhill, um, you can get those angles that you want. It's pretty lightweight to be able to move around. Um, so what you do is you can untwist this, and it's got a little knob on this side. So you can adjust it higher or lower, and then you just twist this to tighten it back up. Um, this back one, it doesn't move. I kind of wish it did. You could adjust up and down, but it's stationary. Um, it's also got some screws right here that you can be able to take this back rest off. They screw in, they're right there, right there. This back piece just slides off. Um, that way you can use your pistol if you want. I've got my M&P shield right here. Make sure it's not loaded so you can rest it on there if you wanted to, however you want to do that. Um, I've also got a Ruger Security 6. Same thing, not loaded. Um, you can rest it on there as well to get down um, to where you want it at. So it fits those both guns. I'll show you a little bit more here in a second about the guns, um, about, about how it compares to different different weapons. Um, so first of all, I've got our Remington 700. And so I've got my bipod on there. It makes it a little bit trickier if you put it on the other side of it. And like I said, it fits, it fits in there. So I guess it's not wiggling hardly at all when I do that. So if you wanted to, you can loosen this up and then you can adjust your elevation as the gun sitting down there. So if you're looking through your scope, um, you, can get, you can get on target and then you can slowly, if you want to, incrementally move this rather than kind of lift up your, the butt of your gun. You can just lower it until you're right on where you want to be and then you can just tighten it up uh, and it'll hold it in place. So I've got a... Remington 700, like I said, with a Vortex scope on top of it. Um, so that's the way you can see that it's holding it. You can screw this down as much as you want, and it still holds it. Um, you know, it took quite a bit of torque on it in order to actually get that to move. It's also got a little compartment underneath it that you push this bottom piece in and then pull it off. Um, probably put some weights in there. Some of the people I've seen said they put bolts and extra stuff like that in there. I just set my bolts and tools on the side. Uh, so if you want to, you can put some sand or sand bag, whatever you want. And it's got two little rests right here. Um, so like I said, you can, you can adjust it to however you want it, um, up or down. So if you loosen this just a little bit, that way it's not um, so, so hard to turn, then you can just turn this just a little bit until you're at the perfect elevation. Um, so there's my Remington 700 with it. Then, just for comparison's sake, I've got my Ruger 1022 clip in it. Um, the action blocks back. So it's the same thing. Um, you can see how it fits in there. So you can get snugged in, lower my elevation, um, and then it's good to slide in. It's pretty freestanding. So that's that guy. And then I've got a shotgun just for comparison. This is a Remington Model 870. Um, so you can scoot it forward if you need to. Um, you can scoot it back if you'd like it. You, you can kind of adjust it however you want to. This is pretty snug in there. Um, so it's just a little bit higher if you're trying to slide it in with slugs or the open side if for whatever reason you got your shotgun out there. So it's some empty as well. Sorry, I forgot to show you that. Um, but all my guns are empty. They always are. Except for my shield. It's always got a, a, a magazine in it. Um, my concealed carry, my everyday carry. So, like I said, just sight it in if you needed to. You can set it on there. Um, it holds you pretty steady. I don't do that with my shield, mostly because it's my concealed carry, so I try to practice firing it like I would. Um, then you've got your 257, like I said earlier. This one, I've actually had to hunt with a few times, and so to get it sighted in, um, I like to sit like that. 
some sometime I might put a scope on it. Who knows? Um, this is for my elk hunting um, in, in bear country. It's a gun I carry. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Like I said, it's a pretty good overall thing, especially for the price. I don't think you can really go wrong for. I think I got mine for 39 bucks. Um, if you have any questions about it, let me know.